Hi, right. so I'm working here within Zendesk and I'm in an active call as you can see. Um, so this um, here on the right shows that I'm in a call, um, that the caller has called me from this number here, that the call called me through the payment queries queue. So they've come through the IVR and it is a payment query. They've selected that option and I can see that identified here. I can see that the call is currently being recorded. So when it came through that um, IVR flow, it was set to record automatically um, in this particular call. And this is the uh, ticket that has been pushed to me for that call. I can see it's the same number and it is the number of this particular user from the company ABC Limited. Now, if I get to the point in the call where um, I've dealt with the payment query and the payment is going to be processed live during the call, then I'll ask the caller um, to give me the card details and while I do that process, I'll stop the recording here. So if I press this button, this is going to stop the recording. And as you can see, the recording up to now, the three minutes of the call up to this point has been added to the ticket, um, but I'm stopped recording. So I get the card details from the caller and then when I'm finished getting the card details from the caller, um, in this particular process, I, um, I need to again record the end of the call, um, for example, because I'm getting the confirmation of the contract details or whatever the change has been made. So then I can start the recording again, like this, and now I've got a new recording running and um, I can tag this new recording with the word, uh, the metadata here, marking contract. Uh, so now this recording is going to be saved with the contract. Um, so when I'm finished with the call, I can end the call here. And then um, the call is finished with the caller. And so here's the three minutes of the first recording, just over three minutes. And these are the 20 seconds at the end of the recording um, where I've got the contract details recorded. So if the admin is later looking at recordings, then they'll see that in the recording section that they've got um, bunch of recordings. The last two recordings, uh, 1753 and 1749, are the two recordings that I just made. And as you can see, the second one is labeled with contract. Okay, that's how you can manage uh, call recordings within Zendesk for compliance purposes and also for internal processes like um, tagging parts of recordings. Thank you. Thank you.